Boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. So now the next thing that we want to do is we want to start working on the content area, which is this whole section. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a section, right? We're going to say content area, and then we're going to break down each piece into different sections. All right. So we got, this is a section, this is a section. And then inside of that section, there's multiple sections inside of it, as you can see. And then from there, we have this table, but we're not going to do it with a table. All right. We're going to do it with just regular HTML. Okay, guys. So the first thing that we want to do is one thing that we forgot to do. And that's why when we hover over this, this thing doesn't work. It doesn't really give us any animation to it, any transition. And it's because over here we said transition all 0 0.5. We're supposed to put the S. So 0 0.5 S. Now, as you can see, it fades in. All right, cool. Now, another thing too, we want to do is we want to come here to the index.html. And we're going to come here and put in a section. Okay. And say class uh, content area. Okay. You know, because this is a, a lot of CSS, we're going to create a, a new file called content area that CSS make sure you put an underscore on the front click enter so now here what we're going to do is we're basically going to say ID content area and we're gonna start coding inside of that now make sure everything is fine we're gonna close and if I open main we have to import it so we're going to say import and we're going to say content area. Okay. Save that there. Now we're going to close main.scss. Click here on the terminal and press control C to stop it. And then do npm run watch one more time. Okay. All right, cool. So we are set. We are ready to go. So let's start breaking this thing down. Okay. We're going to take this image, put it here, and let's break it down by sections. All right. So we got the content area. Okay. And then inside of the content area, we're going to do something like uh, div. Or we could even do a section, but for now, let's just say div. Okay, we're going to say div. And we're going to say heading. All right. Call that heading. So let's say a h1. Okay, dashboard. Okay. Close that, that div. Okay. From there, we're going to put a paragraph and we're going to say, welcome to go jobs. Welcome to go jobs. And now close that up. Okay. So we already did the section. Now let's go into each one of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to say, Div, uh, I don't know what should we call this slides or uh, cards. There you go, cards. We're gonna say that. Let's say div class cards, and then div, right? Now inside of this cards container, right? That we have, we named it div with a class of cards. We're going to say here. Div, class, 
class card singular right so we know it's just we're talking about one card and whatever styles we put on that card we could reuse it for all the other ones okay so on the first one we're gonna say uh, something like this we're gonna do div class user image okay then we have a span class title or name yeah user let's put let's keep that convention username and say John Levi's close that up oops span okay now here we're gonna copy this paste it down here and you're gonna say user title say full stack developer okay then after that we're going to put in an HR save that after that we have two sections so we got previous and then we have the whatever this is whatever school I guess previous job or let me see uh, oh that's what it means previous education that's a dumb way to put it um, but let's say we're just gonna put one we're gonna say div class and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something like this we're gonna say call MD I'm so used to bootstrap guys like even when I code things on my own I just call it by the bootstrap classes so um, call MD six no let's say call MD four and then so it's like a column MD is like for you know a medium uh, devices the screen of it right so call MD4 and then we're going to say something like this like span uh, education Okay, call this class education. Okay, now I'm still right here, guys. I'm right here working on this. We're not gonna put previous education because that's dumb. All you have to do is just put education one time. Um, okay, now here on the second one, we're gonna copy this and we're going to paste it here and we're going instead of putting two of them I mean we could put two, two of them uh, we could say class schools okay schools and here we'll say Grover Cleveland High School and here something like uh, New York University okay save that see all that stuff is being written there but remember it's behind this menu so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it to the side with CSS in a little while let's come back here let's bring up this image okay so we did this card already now we got to do the other card okay hold on okay we got that card we did the first one now we got to do the second one 
now we're going to do something like this we're going to say div class and we're going to say card all right div class card close that up I'm going to say something like, let's see, H, H6. I'm going to say interview schedule. Now, here we're going to create a div. All right, we could even put it as a span. It doesn't really matter. Span. Since we're still working with text, right? So we're going to say 21 July 2018. I mean, this must be, the person who created this must be in Europe or something. So July 18, 2018. July 7th, 2018. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to separate this into two sections. So we got that one and then we got the other one. Okay. So here we're going to say, what's the name of this? What is the online travel ticket system? Cena UX, online shopping, e commerce. Uh, that kind of makes no sense. Whoever built this <laughs> this design pretty much didn't think it through, right? Uh, so interview schedule, we're going to say something like this. We're gonna keep this. We're not gonna keep. We're not gonna do the other one. We're just gonna keep the first one. So we got that. Let me put a class on this. Class date. Okay. Now for this, we're going to put in, uh, we're going to do what we did here. I'm going to copy this, put in class call MD four. For this one, we're going to actually just put in two and here we're going to say 10. All right. So what we want to do is next we want to say okay education uh not education this is gonna be just icon and here we're gonna put a, a icon or like let's say um let's say it let's say job type job type that sounds better so okay and here we're going to put in put in the information we got let me see div class uh, let's say here we're gonna put in uh, best buy headquarters or, or HQ Best Buy HQ uh, we're gonna put in the position here we're gonna say uh, senior developer and then we're going to put in the time so we're going to say time for this senior developer uh, here we're going to put in the the time so let's say 9 30 9 30 a.m. okay all right so we just finished this whole thing now 
for this this whole card right here for now I'm not saying that we're not going to do it but for now we're not going to do it <laughs> because this we're, we're gonna need something else like d3 or or like let's say I don't know another graphing or charts JS and we're not gonna do that right now maybe I'll do it at the end of the video but right now this tutorial is just about HTML CSS for the moment okay now what we're gonna do is the rest of the other sections which is this and what we're going to do it is we're gonna come create let me see another section so we got section content area we got heading we got the cards and then after we have the cards we have the table down here okay so let's put in the table we're gonna say table okay and then here we're gonna say t head for the table head okay me Okay. Let me make sure. All right. Now, next thing we want to do here is basically we got the head, which is this. And we got the body, which is this. So we're going to come here. We're going to put in um, table row. And inside of it, we're going to say TH. H. So let's say company jobs and of application. Sorry, my keyboard just died for no reason. <laughs> like seriously um okay so let's come back to the image end of application okay location okay location so this doesn't make sense end of application okay whatever we'll, let's just keep it like that uh end of application location Okay, company. All right, so we're going to come in and put in the T body. And the first one, we're going to say TR. online shopping okay online shopping and then we're gonna put in TD TD okay for now let's just copy this so it's like Java developer Let's say July twenty eighth, uh, twenty eighteen, and 
location let's say New York New York all right so we just did the whole HTML for this whole section here and everything from here to here except this one and we did this all right now the next video that we're gonna do is is styling this up with CSS so right now you guys just got to see how we do this with just plain HTML now just so you can see exactly what we just built we're gonna start a little bit of the CSS this is just for now because I'm gonna leave the rest to the next video so for now we're gonna say content area padding left 280 pixels alright let me save that make sure we have the ID so instead of class we're gonna use ID and there you go so we have all our information in there okay now let's change this from padding to actually a margin margin left save that and then we're going to put in a little padding of let's say 15 pixels okay so it could be a little bit more organized all right guys so i'll see you guys in the next video and yeah bye guys this is your boy joe back at it again man codingface.com listen thank you for watching this video i really appreciate it a lot of you guys always ask me joe how can we support the channel you give us so much cool content and you know you always try to help out listen guys the best way to do it is pretty much sign up to my website when you sign up to my website it's five dollars a month right now this whole month right from there it's going back up but it's fine if it goes back up there's always gonna be a link right here that's gonna be 50 percent off on everything doesn't matter what it is on my website it's always gonna be 50 percent just because you came from YouTube that's the coupon code kids just because you came from YouTube it's <laughs> it's actually just from YouTube right so if you put in that coupon code everything is 50 percent off automatically uh n please don't share that coupon code to everybody out there in the world but for you guys you guys could use it um yeah and then i have all the best courses of um udemy the course you know where i learned how to code and all the skills that i learned i learned it from udemy you know all my main skills that i have to this day and i've used on every job out there I've learned it on Udemy from the best instructors there. And like I say, guys, take your time, check out my website. You know, you click on this link, you know, automatically you get the coupon. I'm back for five, meaning like, hey, I'm trying to sign up for, uh, you know, 75% off for original price. So you good. <laughs> you know, you get every single course that I create pretty much, you know. So, yeah, I'll see you guys around. You know, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.